problem uh, practice uh, exam two problem number three uh, we want to find the solid under the uh, uh, this surface which is going to turn out to be a sphere and above this other surface that uh, turns out to be this one is easier to see this one is the upper nap of a cone upper nap of a cone and so one thing is that um, we're going to try to set this up volume as both um, cylindrical and spherical let's start with the cylindrical and when we're setting up the uh, cylindrical coordinates uh, before setting it up I want to know what they look like what these shapes look like in the um, Cartesian co coordinate so on the on my scratch paper scratch paper I'm gonna figure out what that looks like and um, so that basically um, that uh, I can do that by completing the squares so I'm gonna take the Z to the other side and then figure out what I need to add and subtract uh, to complete the square and so what I need to add and subtract is going to be basically half of uh, negative 1 which is the coefficient of the z uh, to power 2 that's negative 1 half to power 2 plus 1 fourth plus 1 fourth and then this entire thing becomes z minus one half which is a half of the uh, coefficient of the z that's one negative one half is that to power two so what i get is x squared plus y squared plus z minus one half to power two equal to one fourth now that i have this well this looks like a sphere uh, centered at 0, 0, and 1 half, and radius 1 half. Uh, yes, this is r, r squared, so radius should be uh, 1 half. Now, uh, what's the next step? Draw the picture of this sphere so, and that cone. The cone is easy to see. Cone opens up like that and it's upper nap and then the sphere um, basically has um, the sphere is gonna uh, have this as a center and then radius one half so it goes all the way to there and then I draw a shape like that so that's the sphere that goes on top of it now um, next thing is that now that i set this up let's try to set the um, in, triple integral in terms of cylindrical coordinates um, one thing is that when i'm trying to do that i need to uh, convert both uh, bounds whatever how many bounds that you have into cylindrical coordinates Converting x squared plus y squared plus z squared equal to z gives me these two together are r squared. So it gives me r squared plus z squared um, equal to z. Right? And then um, uh, let's say converting z equal to uh, square root of x squared plus y squared gives me r so one um, one of the bounds is this and the other one is r, z equal to r so found bound one and bound two bound uh, the ba the surface that is bound surface that bounds bounds and one surfaces 
the belt and the belt. There we go. Now, um, now that I found that, uh, let's try to set things up. Um, let's look at the cross section of this, and then we call them ice cream cone. Let's look at the cross section in radial uh, cross section in terms of R. So what do I do? Uh, what do I see? I see this cone, and I see this sphere on top of it. Um, this tells me if I'm going in the uh, Z direction. Let's go to the Z direction. Z direction. See, first I'm going to uh, the the surface on the bottom is the cone. And then the surface on top is the sphere. So in Z direction, I can solve Z equal to R for that one. And I have to be able to solve for Z in the other one. Solving for Z, it's not immediate on the other one. Because, see, Z in that equation shows up um, as uh, Z squared. And there's a Z squared and a Z in that equation so what you need to do is to complete the square and then solve for z so let's do that so i'm going to complete the square again again i will need a one fourth and a one fourth on the other side so r squared plus z minus one half to power two is equal to one fourth uh, uh, isolate z z minus one half to power two is equal to one fourth minus r squared now solve for z z minus one half is square root of one fourth minus r squared but hold on uh, do i need to put plus and minus and uh, basically z is going to be bigger than one half because it's upper upper part of the cone um, and the upper part of the ice cream cone so no that uh, this will be positive and positive would work so now z equal to one half plus square root of one fourth minus r squared is the um, bound on top right there z equal to one half plus square root of one fourth minus r squared so i found the bounds for z and that was the the simple way of doing that because if i was going to find the bounds for r it would have uh, complicated things a, a tiny bit now let's set this up and setting this up i will have dz inside and z goes from r to one half plus square root of one fourth minus r squared then um i have to figure out where r goes um r uh, yes r depends on rho, uh, depends on uh, z but also we already gone outside the um, z so and r does not uh, depend on theta therefore what I'm going to do is just find uh, numbers for R. And um, so R here obviously can be zero on the Z axis. And then as we go, the most R can get out is right at that point. So I have to figure out what, what that point is basically in terms of um, R. And that is, uh, so I have to find the intersection of the sphere and the cone um, and then find the r for the intersection of the sphere and the cone so let's see um, what i'm going to do is um, intersect these two and i get r is equal to one half plus square root of one fourth minus r squared and that is uh, r minus one half equal to square root of one fourth minus r squared r minus one half to power two equal to one fourth minus r squared or um, r squared 
uh, plus minus r uh, plus one fourth equal to negative r squared uh, and that is two r squared minus r equal to zero right so either r is equal to one half or r is equal to zero and so set it up here uh, one half is the maximum and zero is the minimum uh, by the way this sphere hits the uh, cone right at origin again too that's why the r equal to zero shows up and then i will have for data theta it goes all around so i have zero to two pi and now i'll put in a jacobian in there and that's the setup for the volume of the uh, ice cream cone.